This is the Carbonara 2023 version. Yes, I spent a week in Rome learning all the tricks and secrets from the best chefs in Rome. And I've searched for the best Carbonara and there is no such thing. Everyone makes Carbonara their way, following the rules, of course. But we are humans and we all have our own touch and our own way of making whatever we make. And this is what I make in 2023, my ultimate version of carbonara. And it tastes beautiful, it's so creamy, and I want you to enjoy it. Carbonara has been evolving since, you know, God knows how long. And it will never stop evolving. So every year, I'm gonna make it better and better for you. Guys, look what I found at the bottom of the plate. Look, you know what I need now? I need a slice of bread and clean this. <laughs> Bellissimo, buonissimo. The best part is at the end. Mmm. 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 This is how you make the perfect carbonara in 2023. First choice is the pasta. Spaghetti is a classic. I've chosen very nice, thick, round spaghetti. It's like a bugatino, okay? But firmer like spaghetto, it's a spaghetto. Then you can go for spaghettone quadrato, my favorite pasta for carbonara. It's a thick, square spaghetti. You don't find this type of pastas in the supermarket, right? You need to go to the grocery store or specialty store. You can use short pasta, like uh, rigatoni, mezze maniche. You can use bucatini if you like. Or you can use fresh pasta, but not with eggs, water and, and flour. If you use fresh egg pasta, and then you do carbonara sauce with egg, it's a bit too much, okay? If you're young, maybe you can do it. But if you are over 30, maybe it's a little bit difficult to digest. I'm using 300 grams of spaghetti for three people. So 100 grams per person. The guanciale has the skin on the side, the cotenna, and the pepper on top, okay? I'm using 200 grams of guanciale, the pork chick, the butcher, your local butcher, must have guanciale in the shop. If he doesn't have it, then tell him to do it because pork, pork jaw, pork chick can be found anywhere. So every butcher should make guanciale. You can replace with pancetta, maybe no bacon. We need to use four eggs because I need one egg for every 100 gram. So 300 grams, three eggs, and one extra egg that we add. Pecorino, and this is the ratio, okay? Every 100 grams of pasta, you use at least, at least 30 grams of grated pecorino, nice and salty, pecorino romano. You can add more, but at least 30 grams per 100 grams. Today, 300 grams of pasta, 90 grams of pecorino romano. Last but not least, the black pepper, so important. Now what we do in, with the pan, we put on a medium low heat on the fire, because we want to cook this gently, okay? Here we have the beautiful guanciale. This beautiful guanciale needs to be slowly, gently cooked. The reason why you want to cook the guanciale gently is because you don't have to rush. You got three ingredients to cook here. Take your time, please. Guys, in, in about five minutes or even less, the guanciale will be nice and crunchy. Now guys, the guanciale is cooked, so what we're going to do is we get the guanciale, the crispy guanciale, and we put it here to rest. Guanciale, see you when the pasta is ready. Let's do the crunchy test. <laughs> this carbonara is going to be delicious. <laughs> see all this oil? This is going to give the flavor to the spaghetti, okay? So now we put the pan on the side and we start boiling the pasta. Now we get a large pot of water and we put half a tablespoon of sea salt or rock salt. We only put half because the pecorino is very salty and we don't want too much salt for carbonara. Now we get a spaghetti and here we go. The packet says that this spaghetti needs 13 minutes in boiling water until they are al dente. 
Now it's time to make the sauce, the cream for the carbonara. Now, usually in the old days, I used to use the entire egg, no waste. But I have to ab admit, I've learned that the egg yolks is the secret to make a creamier. So we have to get three egg yolks and we keep one entire egg because the entire egg is what goes in the pan, okay? So three egg yolks, what do we do with the uh, white of the egg that we have left? We make amaretti. I've got a great recipe, my mother-in-law amaretti. Whatever you can make out of this, these three egg uh, whites, you make the amaretti, you put them in the freezer and they last for one year in the freezer. All you have to do, you get them out of the freezer, put some icing sugar and you eat them straight away. Cold or you wait until they go at room temperature. Now let's make sure we get the egg whites here. Uh -oh. The egg yolk here. And here we go. Bellissimo. And here is the egg yolk. And now, the fourth egg, we put the whole thing in there. Perfetto. This is what you're going to use to make amaretti. And let me tell you, you will make plenty of amaretti to make you happy. Now, with a fork. You can use a whisk, but fork is more homemade. Beat the eggs. Let's go crazy with the pepper. Black pepper. Mix again. Carbonara means uh, like a carbone, which is charcoal. So your carbonara needs to look like charcoal. Guys, this is where the magic begins, okay? So we've got the pecorino here, a little bit at a time. Let's put the pecorino in there. Let's turn this egg yolk into a thick pecorino cream. The pecorino is so important. I know you guys like to use parmigiano or grana padano because it's more delicate. Okay, you can do it, but the pecorino, it's so beautiful. Let's put more in there. I want this thick because I want this to melt and revive when I mix it with the spaghetti. Can you see this? You see how thick this is? This is perfection, guys. Let's put the rest. Look at this. Bellissimo. Bellissimo. If you guys need more cheese, please go for it. Cheese is good. More pecorino, the better. All right, it's been 13 minutes. Let's try the spaghetti to see if they are al dente just the way I want them. Mmm, perfectly to the tooth. All right, guys, now I'm gonna show you what to do to have a, a easy, perfect carbonara. The pasta is ready. So, let's put the flame down, medium low. Put the pan back on with the oil from the guanciale. So let's revive the oil, okay? In the meantime, we start adding the pasta in this pan. Here we go. I don't throw out my pasta water, because the pasta water is very important right now. So a mug of pasta water. We might need the whole thing, or maybe not. We want the pasta to make love with the oil from the guanciale. As you can see, the pasta absorbed the oil. There is no oil left, you see? No oil left. So I'm gonna add a little bit of pasta water here. Guys, this is a, a my new technique that I've learned. Take this off the stove. Put the water, the pot with the boiling water, back on the stove at the maximum temperature. Now we put the pan on top. We want the steam to basically keep this pan nice and warm, okay? The spaghetti are ready. There's plenty of pasta water in there. I might add a, me add a little bit more. We've got plenty of pasta water at the bottom. I'm gonna add some crunchy guanciale, not too much, just enough. And this is the moment we've been waiting for, ladies and gentlemen. The egg, the egg mix. Are you ready? 
Here we go. The egg mix goes in. Time to mix. The pasta is warm. The, pan, the, the, the steam at the bottom is keeping everything nice and moist. At this point, as you can see, we might need a little bit of pasta, or pasta water, just a little splash. A little splash of pasta water, not too much. And here we go, guys, the carbonara cream is coming out for you. It's ready for you, guys. Look, now it's time to toss. I need a little bit more pasta water because I can't toss. That's how you know when you need more pasta water. A little bit more pasta water, and now we toss. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, look at that cream. Look at that cream. Guys, I want you to see how creamy this is, okay? Can you see it? And the camera do justice. Mm -hmm. And the camera do justice. Look, look how creamy this is. A touch of pasta water creates all of this for you. Not much. And here we go. Beautiful, perfect, creamy carbonara. Wow, look at that. Guys, my carbonara keeps changing every year. Becomes better and better. Mm. Ay, carbonara cream. Guys, look how beautiful. Let's put the carbonara in the plate, and here we go. Ah, oh, beautiful, creamy, and silky carbonara. Now let's go and top this off with a little bit of pecorino cheese on the plate. Guys, let's get the cream here for the carbonara. Ah, bellissimo, bellissimo. Wow. Ah, carbonara crema. Now we finish this off with some nice guanciale on top. And now we're ready to rock and roll. We need to finish it with a nice spolverata of black pepper. Be very generous with black pepper, and then your carbonara can be served. See how creamy this is. Wow, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hi, creamy carbonara. Hi, creamy carbonara and crunchy guanciale. I'm going to eat you. Wow, look. Wow, wow, wow. Guys, this carbonara, it's perfect. Guys, this, this, this pasta has been waiting for a while. We have to take photos and videos. So it's a little bit cold, but still creamy. It's a good sign, isn't it? So, here is my pasta. Here's my crispy guanciale. Mmm. Mmm. The guanciale is a lot more delicate without all the pepper and the marinade, you know, they put on top. It really makes a difference. It does. The pecorino cream is just perfect. Mmm. Mmm. The pasta is creamy. What more do you want? The spaghetti are nice and thick. If you use uh, cappellini or vermicelli, you know, thin pastas, you're not going to get the same experience because it's too thin. It won't absorb the sauce. You need a nice thick pasta. Not tagliatelle. A nice thick spaghetti like this. Mm. I want you to make it right now. I want you to enjoy this right now, the same way I'm enjoying it. Mm. Please write a comment below. And let me tell you, which one is your favorite carbonara version of Vincenzo's plate? I have a few, so you can watch all the videos and tell me. Which one? 2020, 2021, 2022, or 2023? Mm. I'm waiting for your comment. So thank you so much for watching this episode. 
I will see you in the next Vincenzo's Plate video recipe. E ora si mangia carbonara. Buon appetito. Mm.